Kareem Jackson, ninth season in the NFL for the Houston Texans. He was a first-round draft pick. Uh, the Texans' secondary is arguably the strength of their team. He is joining us now. He had a career year. There were only two cornerbacks in the NFL that were targeted 80 times and did not allow a touchdown, yet you're not a pro bowler. Is that kind of ridiculous? I think so. It's kind of, um, but the Pro Bowl is a popularity contest. Definitely. Like, all pro is different. Right. I pro agree. Bowl is... Definitely a popularity contest. Did it tick you off? Uh, yeah. I was a bit ticked about it. Yeah. Only for a little bit, though. It just kind of moved past so it. It was your best year. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Did you lose a, Did you lose a bonus on that? Uh, no. So no you, didn't. you didn't have any bonus tied to going no, to... No, no, no. All right. So it's not like that. Yeah. All right. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd be ticked. Right. Okay. So you faced all sorts of guys. Let's start with this. You faced Andrew Luck three times. Yes. So let's, let's talk about this. You faced him early when I don't think in week five, six, he was healthy. Then you faced him late and then last week. Right. Let's talk about the early Luck you faced and the later Andrew Luck. Um... Like you said, early on, I don't think he was um, as healthy, you know. Um, but, I mean, you can still see very capable. You know, um, we all know what type of guy he is. Um, and, you know, he proved it the, the later in the year, you know, the, for us to play him two more times. Uh, I think the second time we played him, I think he might have threw for like 400 or something on us. What's his strength? Because Kansas, um, City, Kansas City's got a pass rush. What will they be watching? What does Andrew Luck do that is tough to defend? Uh, for one, he's very smart. You know, um, I mean, he can make every throw, you know. It's, it's, but the thing that it's, it's always difficult to, to face quarterbacks that can keep the play alive. You know, um, he's very mobile. You know, he can get out of the pocket, you know, make the off-schedule plays as well. You know, so um, it's, it's difficult to face guys like that, you know, on top of him being a pocket passer and, and, and being able to make every throw possible. Yeah. Does he audible a lot at the line of scrimmage? Did you sense that? Yes. Yes. Uh, does a lot of audibles, you know, um, almost just kind of sit there and play the chess match with you until you show your hand. But um, I think he do a great job of uh, recognizing what guys are in after, you know, the ball, the snap also. That's that's good. Yeah, Pre-snap, yeah. post-snap. Now, right. their offensive line used to be a mess. I mean, you know that. About yeah. three years ago, that yeah. offensive line was terrible. They got a kid named Quentin Nelson. We got a piece of video. He even wrestled Jadavian Clowney. I think a bunch of his success, Kareem, is – I think his offensive line's real good now. Right, right. Um, they've been doing a great job of protecting him. You know, um, I think thus far – I'm not sure how many times he's been sacked, but I know it's, um, it's maybe the least in the NFL yeah. up to now. Yeah, no, but, you're um, right. But they, they've been doing a great job protecting them. And, and you know, um, you got a guy like that under center and the line protecting them that way, you know, it's, it's going to be tough to beat them. All right, let's talk about the other AFC game. Uh, you faced Tom Brady this year actually yes. very early. It was September, and New mm-hmm. England wasn't great then. And it was a very – they got on you, then you came back, if I right. remember. So you faced Brady probably several times in your career? Yeah, several times. Uh, you have several times. Generally not been great. Never, the, never beat him. You've, oh, you never beat him. Never beat him. That's not great. I didn't mean to throw not that out all. there. That was never very, I, really inappropriate by me. <laughs> what now? Now you don't have to compare him to Luck, but what does Tom do for you, Kareem? That is uh, really tough. Um, I think he does a great job of finding his uh, his mismatches, and and he exploits those very well. You know, um, obviously, you know he, he's very smart. You know, uh, very, very precise in what he does. Precise. You know, um, that's. You know, he's arguably the, the greatest of all time. So, you know, anytime you got him on the center, you're going to always have a chance. So, you know, he does a lot of audible as well. He also but, gets rid of the ball quickly. If I right. recall, you guys couldn't get to him. J.J. Watt and Jadavian, right. he got rid of the ball fast. Yeah, he does. He does. So, um, I mean, he points it out, you know, he, and he finds his mismatches and he goes to him right away. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about uh, Dak Prescott. Now, you guys beat the Dallas Cowboys. You're right. And um, now Dak Prescott, you know, there's a lot of debate on this show. What is he? Now, he is pretty mobile. Um, doesn't have, I wouldn't say, a great arm. Now, you faced him when they didn't have Amari Cooper yet, didn't you? Mm-hmm. That was early. They didn't have Amari Cooper so yet. So what, oh, Dak, what do I, if you're playing Dak, what do you see? Um, definitely a dual threat guy. I think he's very capable. You know, um, I mean, yeah, they have a great running game, so that definitely takes a lot of pressure off of him. You know, um he don't. You don't have to go into the game knowing he has to throw it fifty, you know, um, or whatever times, how many times to 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 get a win. So you know he can hand it off to Zeke, you know, to take some of the pressure off him. Um, so does he uh, audible as much? Uh, not as much. 
not as much. Um, I think they just kind of, you know, get in what they're going to get in, and they do what they do, you know. Um, just uh, I think you're audible a little bit against us, but not as much as some of these other guys. Sure. Older veteran players, usually, right, they right. usually audible more. Right. Uh, you also face Nick Foles, who's hard to figure out. He's supposed to be a backup, <laughs> but the guy's 11-2 and two as a starter. I can't quite figure Nick Foles out for Philadelphia. You faced him. You lost to him. What What is Nick? Uh, obviously, nobody else can figure him out either. Um, it's just something about him once he gets in the playoffs, you know, um, down the stretch for that, for his team. You know, he does some great stuff, you know, uh, can make every throw on the field. No, he'll go deep. Definitely. He can definitely be aggressive. strong arm. Um, I mean, a guy like that, you know what I mean, and, and he has pieces also, you know, Alshon Jeffrey. You got Golden Tate. Ertz having a great year, you know, and they got – Sproles and, you know, a couple other guys that ran it back. So, you know, he has pieces around him. And, yeah. you know, they do a great job of putting him in situations where he can be successful. Yeah, Kareem uh, Jackson, uh, you're a free agent, by the way. Definitely. Somebody's going to pay for you. I hope so. Yeah, I would too. That's the plan. Um, DeAndre Hopkins, you faced him at practice for years. I mean, I remember the Dallas game. We have a piece of right. tape on this, the, the play he did against Dallas. You face all these great receivers, including DeAndre Hopkins. If I said to you, including DeAndre, your teammate, practice, three best receivers you've ever faced? Three best. I had to go hop, number one. Uh, I'll go Julio and, and, and A.B. Antonio Brown. Top three. Now, they're all kind of different. Antonio's kind of a – what makes DeAndre great? Because he can make the contested catches. You can be all over him some kind of way. He's going to figure out how to catch it. Antonio and, Brown, what's special? Speed? Uh, speed, quickness. He, he makes the tough catches also, but he, he's, he's special for, you know, he catches it and, and he can, you know, run away from you. How about yeah. Julio? Um, strong? Big, strong guy, fast, and he can run every route. He, he's he's kind of a bigger guy, but he has small guy skills. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's tough to, to cover guys like that. Hey, by the way, you went to Alabama. Yeah, I did. And you want to you get into that? You, they got crushed. I got to be honest about it. That was brutal. How shocked were you? I'm still sick about that. That's It, it was brutal, man. I was not expecting that. What do you think happened? Um... The quarterback from Clemson had a great day. He's really good. He he's he's really good. Way, I, I told somebody the other day, in in two years, he'll probably be the number one overall pick. Yeah, I saw him at a camp in San Diego a year ago. I told Joy this. I went down for a friend to a high school football camp. I didn't know who he was. He was so much better than all the other high schoolers. I don't talk high school football recruiting on the show, but I went. I came back that weekend. I told my friend Jason Whitlock. I said, I oh boy, he's There's, special. Oh, six he, six. He's special. Huge arm. Uh, but you think Saban never going to leave Alabama? No, I don't think so. Why would he? Yeah, he's making a lot of money. And go where? Well, I mean, if you if I New York Giants? No, I don't think he goes back to the NFL. You don't think so? I don't think so. Yeah. If I'm him, I wouldn't. By the way, I got to ask you about the Houston Texans. You guys have struggled in the playoffs, and yeah. you've and you've won your division. There is this stigma that's hanging over you right now as an organization. Right. Can you sense it? Do you feel it? Like people doubt you now in big spots? Um, I think so. I think that's why we don't get a lot of credit, you know, that we may deserve, you know, for a team. We won 11 games this year, and that's tough in this league. And it was always kind of like, oh, well, I think they were saying, like, our schedule was easy or something like that. But um, I, I'm not sure what it is once we get to the playoffs, you know, we we definitely not playing up to our expectations. Playoff games are different, right? Like like I I like New England over the Chargers, even though I think the Chargers have better players because New England has a way to win situationally, the, right? Yeah, and, and in and in the playoffs, situational football is is big. It is. It's big. So it, it's it's definitely that's pretty much the key in the in the in the games, you know, because it'll come down to different situations. Well, it'll be about four to five plays that'll determine the game. So. Yeah. And, and usually New England comes out on the winning end of those. Yeah. Nine years of free agent, Kareem Jackson. Good having you on the show. All right. Thanks for having me. You bet, bud. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.